Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. And today's aircraft we have here is the uh, is from Turibo in one seventy second scale diecast. It is the Shenyang J six. Um, so this comes in a little. It's got a little carry handle. It's a sophisticated model. Says it right there. So I'm expecting. I've got high expectations for this then. <laughs> but um, this particular aircraft, uh, which NATO actually designates the Farmer, is a Chinese built version of the Soviet built MiG nineteen Farmer. So. Um, this was first introduced into the Chinese Air Force or People's Liberation Army Air Force in 1962, where it would remain in service until the late 1990s. So they used it quite considerably longer than the Soviets did, and uh, even longer in some other countries that uh, that did operate this too. This aircraft was exported to a number of sort of uh, more third world type of operators, um, not sophisticated operators, more um, countries sort of trying to find a cheaper alternative air fighter aircraft for their air forces. These were produced between 1958 and 1986 with over 4,500 aircraft being built in all the variants and um, it was exported to about uh, 15 other militaries around the world as I said. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll get this uh, aircraft out of the box and have a real good look at it. So this is as it comes out of the, uh, the actual box. Um, it's got a little tie down on there, it's um, sealed relatively, um, a little piece, a bit of a uh, bit of the undercarriage is already off that, so it does have a little bit of damage on it, but it's got a little tie down that needs to be taken off, and we've got to take some of this tape off to get this uh, out of the packet, but it does come with, uh, it does come with a little booklet of some sort, which does contain, okay, some other options that uh, Toribo do offer you. Um, with some good detailed information about the aircraft that they are trying to sell to you in all Chinese. It's got some Chinese propaganda photos or whatever. <laughs> and um, all, all these items seem to be Chinese. So there's no other. There, are, um, there is a little or whatever that is. <laughs> but uh, we'll get rid of that and we will open this up. So it comes with this little baggie, and I was wondering what that was for, and what that is, it's the pitter tube. There's no pitter tube <laughs> fitted to the front of this, I don't know why. Um, there's an allocation in the packet for it, but it does not have does not have that uh, in there whatsoever. But um, apparently uh, you have to fit this, that is the uh, pitter tube that they are supplying with you. Um, it does look small compared to what it sh uh, should be. But uh, I'll let you make that uh, decision for yourself. But uh, I will chuck that on for the photos and you can uh, check that out. And I, I reckon it's a little bit small. That's the only thing that pretty much detracts from this model. But what we'll do is we'll get this open. So with that all opened up, um, with Faithful Blady, cut all the tape off. Got that tight end off. We can now take that out of the packet. So the stand does come fully assembled. It is a uh, all metal, all metal stand, this one. And uh, we'll grab the aircraft itself out. And uh, I'll grab that, that, little, that little piece of uh, gear stuck on there. But um, apart from that, it's not not too bad. It is very shiny. <laughs> the uh, bare metal finish is really bare metal finish um, sort of look on this. It is extremely, extremely shiny. We'll see if we can have a look at the cockpit details. You can see all the rivets on there. The actual details are quite good. I think it's it's a fairly fairly good example, I suppose, for for what this is. We'll have a look underneath first. So, as you saw, it's got that little little um, gear bay door that has fallen out of that, and um, that'll just slip back in. So don't uh, don't detract anything from the model in regards to that. But uh, I think overall, underneath it is quite uh, it is quite detailed. As you can see, you can see all the rivets and everything like that. Obviously, that's where the stand is affixed. It is impermanently uh, gears down. Um, the the wheels that sort of I don't think the wheels roll. No, that that they don't. They seem pretty fixed. And um, I think it's not. Look, this cost me sixty two dollars. That was including the delivery from China, and um, plus our GSTs and everything like that. But all up. Including the purchase of the item, the postage, GSTs, taxes, sixty-two bucks. So, which isn't too bad, and um, I think it's you know not not a bad sort of size. It's not a bad aircraft. It's it's quite well done. You know, I think it's reasonably good value for money, to be honest. If you're if you're looking to uh, build up a Chinese aircraft collection in in amongst your collections, um, it's not a bad model to uh, sort of start with, especially budget wise too. It won't break the bank. And um, of this particular aircraft too, 
the weird thing about this aircraft, though, and the actual aircraft is they sort of class these as a semi-disposable sort of aircraft because uh, um, they only had an actually operating capacity of around 100, 100 hours before having to overhaul the whole thing. So that, to me, is um, really weird that uh, you'd, you'd build an aircraft like that. You'd, you want some sort of um, reliability with it. But, oh, well, that's this aircraft, I suppose. It's a cheap, cheaper aircraft. But I think overall, it's not too bad for what it is. I, I think it's, you know, you don't have to do anything to it. It's all, it's all done for you. Everything's together. Um, comes straight out of the packet, ready to go, ready to display. Stand goes on really easy. Bang. Just like that. And um, job done. And I think it's, yeah, not, not too bad. For 60 odd dollars um, to get one of these into your collection, it's, it's not terrible. You know, I think it's a reason, reasonably good addition to your uh, Chinese aircraft, you know, collection if you're building one up. And I don't, I don't really have a, any sort of issue with it. I mean, it's it's not you know fantastic detail, but it, it's it's detailed enough to to you know, well to make me happy. I, I'm not the most fussiest collector. I, I as long as it looks tidy, I'm reasonably happy. Um, but I think overall, it's it's not too bad. So once again, this is the uh, Shengyang J6. And it is from Toribo, 172nd scale die cast. And I think it's a you know, pretty pretty good bit of kit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, look, you know, if you found this video helpful or, you know, in any sort of way, throw us a like, that'd be awesome. Really appreciate it. And you know the deal, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That'd be awesome as well. And uh, I'll chuck some photos of this, uh, this aircraft at the conclusion of this video, which is happening right now. And you can see it without these sausage fingers being in the way. And uh, check it out in some close-up photos. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. As per usual, I really appreciate it. And you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.